Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a special video. This is one of the last times that I'm going to be booting up NBA 2K18. This is somewhat of a farewell. Now, we all know that this game has been out for almost a year now. And the playability slash longevity has been in question all year long. Now, I know a lot of people say, you know, when the game first came out, they were having a lot of fun. They ran into a lot of troubles. We ran into a lot of bugs and problems. And ultimately, we had a lot of patches for those leaking faucets. Now, as a YouTuber, I had to bring you guys content. I had to say, you know what? It's a lot going on. Doesn't matter. Got to bring you guys content. You guys even see it here, man. They're promoting 2K19 already. You get it September 7th if you pre-order. Me, right now, I haven't pre-ordered. Um, most likely I will. I mean, who doesn't want a hundred free thousand VC? What is that? A hundred K? Yeah. Why not? Even though it costs 195,000 or more to max out your player to level 85. But moving on, this is my point guard. This is like my keepsake ever since about 2K 13 days, 2K 14 days. You know, I just, I, I kind of evolved into a, a point guard. You know, I, I watched a lot of Chris Smooth back in the day, you know, and I, and I was running small forward. Then I said, man, I would love to run the offense like that. But I ran it in my own way. You know what I mean? So, you know, I've decided, you know, to make a change this year. This year, I'm bringing David Carter back. That's right. I'm bringing back that slasher. I'm bringing back that playmaker. I'm bringing back that knockdown shooter, as they would call him. I might make him 6'7". I might make him up to 6'9". You never know. But I am one of those players that do grind out my players. I ma make sure that I max out all my badges. I make sure that, you know, the daily objectives that I need to get are done. Now, the funny thing is this player currently, as I'm giving this commentary, is literally 90% to 93 overall. Now, for a game that I didn't put a lot of stake into, where I didn't play a lot of my career this year and I didn't, you know, put my feet in the sand and say, you know what, I'm just going to suck it up and play. I still got to a 92 overall. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it to 93, but I know I made it to a 92. So there's a lot of YouTubers out there who didn't make it, that don't grind, that just play a couple of my career games to upload on YouTube. Me, I kind of gave up on my career in my first season. I couldn't take the bump steals anymore. I just couldn't deal. You know what I mean? I know you guys probably feeling like, yeah, we, we, we know what you mean. But that doesn't mean that I stop playing the game. I mean, I occasionally play Pro-Am. I occasionally went to the park or the new playground, as they would call it. And, you know, I may not have 300 to 400 games played at the playground, but I've experienced it. You know what I mean? So with that being said, you know, to make a long story short, it's actually time for me to retire this player. Now, I know you guys are probably like, hold on, retire. Wait, where are you going? Just to let you guys know, I do live stream on Facebook gaming. The Facebook stream link is inside the description. I will also put it inside the chat. It is fb.gg slash Carter. I've literally all month been streaming my video games over there to get this player to the Hall of Fame and retire with a chip on my shoulder. Now, when you guys last seen one of my, my career videos on YouTube, you might have seen me not even make it to the playoffs. But just to let you guys know, I finished the playoffs over on Facebook. I went through my second season, made it to the playoffs again. And then I went into my third season and made it to the All-Star game in each season. So if you guys want to check out those past streams, you can do that on my Facebook page. Everything is archived. But just to let you guys know, I will be streaming on Facebook forever <laughs> so if you guys want to watch streams over there you can now this is a time where i say peace and farewell and there's going to be a long cut scene after this of my hall of fame speech and i hope you guys enjoy wow <clears throat> uh you know, back when I was uh, when I was starting out, when I was undrafted, 
when I wasn't sure if I should uh, quit music for basketball or, or vice versa. And I was just trying to work my way onto the NBA roster. You know, back then, if somebody had told me that, uh, that one day I'd be given an acceptance speech at the Basketball Hall of Fame in front of some of the greatest players to, to, who have ever lived, I would have thought, no, I would have said, man, you're crazy. Uh, you're absolutely crazy. Um, this is just beyond my wildest dreams, and um, it means a lot to me. Now, I don't want to bore you guys, and, uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll try my best to keep this brief, okay? <clears throat> I wouldn't be here without my parents. Mom, Dad, I love you. And you know you're, they're the first ones to talk your ear off and say, you know, how they knew this stuff was going to happen and how they knew I would make it to the Hall of Fame. And, um, you know, at the same time, when I stopped playing ball for two years to focus on music, they were supportive. Um, everything I wanted to do, they were supportive. As long as I worked to be great at it. And I think that's the lesson that my parents instilled in me. Always put the work in to be great. And I gotta mention my friend B Fresh. Now some of y'all may know, <laughs> there she is. <laughs> She's my oldest friend. And we've known each other since we were kids and you know, she claims that we're in the same family tree, but B, I don't really think it works out. <laughs> uh, but she's the one that during that two year hiatus, she said, nah, nah, DJ, you gotta be balling. DJ, you gotta keep balling. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I think she just encouraged me because, you know, I was her best bet to get to uh, Kobe Bryant, but you know, real is real. And I appreciate you, B, you've been a real one. And everybody here knows uh, Shammy. Now, people uh, can't believe it when I tell them that Shammy was my mentor. People say, Shammy was your mentor? He was. Shammy was my mentor. He taught me a lot about the game. I mean, he taught me about how to stay mentally and physically ready, how not to dwell on the mistakes, the importance of the handshake. And uh, I was extremely fortunate to be his rook. And, uh, and I know just me saying that right now, I can already hear him taking the credit for this Hall of Fame speech. I can hear you, Sham. <laughs> Lastly, I wanna thank my coaches. You know, I've, I've been enormously lucky over my career to, uh, in so many ways. And my coaches were always there helping me to be better, showing me concrete things that I could work on and take to the next step or the half step. And if I, if I had an idea for the team, it would benefit the group, they implemented it. They listened to me. And at that point, what more could you ask for? So shout out to my first real coach in the league, Coach D. <laughs> I appreciate you. Oh, one more thing. This is important. I want to thank, from the bottom of my heart, the game of basketball. This game has given me so much. And I used to say this, and B Fresh can attest to this. Music called me, but basketball called me back. And that's the truth. You know, basketball is such a, a beautiful game in that it, it teaches you things about life. And it's, it's teaching me still. It shows you the importance of communicating with people, chemistry, teamwork, about how to win and lose with class. Because as we all know, you won't win every game. And here's what I want to tell all the kids out here. All the kids out there who, who want to know how to get to my position, just listen to the game. Listen to what it tells you. It will tell you everything you need to know. So thank you once again.
Thank you. I know what you guys are thinking. Is your point guard going to make a return? Yes, he will. In streams, at the Pro-Am, and at the Playground. But I will have somebody else grinding those badges on a different account. Make sure you guys stay tuned. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.